Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, a couple hours ago, Bandai released a 6th anniversary uh, preview video or hype video. It was basically a Dokkan Now program without the official Dokkan Now name, right? And of course, in this program, they revealed a bunch of information about stuff that we can expect to see during the anniversary, most of which uh, honestly, we already knew about because of the leaks from a few days ago, but nonetheless, there was one big reveal or one big confirmation that many of us have been waiting for for quite some time, and that's the fact that the 6th anniversary Dual Tokan Fest is going to be between LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Now I know, most people had already expected this right it was pretty obvious but it wasn't official it wasn't confirmed until this video came out anyways today we are going to be covering everything that was talked about in the uh you know dokkan now or sixth anniversary hype video or whatever you want to call it by using some screenshots that i took from the original video now if you're wondering why we're not just like straight up watching it together um it's because i've been hit with some copyright strikes in the past when I was showing like Dokkan Nows and I just don't really want to deal with that today, you know? So I hope you guys are okay with the screenshots. If not, if you want to just like watch the video by yourself, I'll put a link in my description down below. All right, so uh, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, shout out to the host of this program, my boy, I think it's Nasu P, but it could also be Nasup. I never really knew how to say his name, I'll be honest. So my bad, but shout out to him. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, the first thing we had in the video was this preview for the login bonus. We have the free-to-play mastered Ultra Instinct Goku in the front holding the six-star Dragon Ball. And also, of course, the uh, anniversary tickets, some uh, anniversary coins, obviously Dragonstone, Sleepy Kai's, and this rainbow ticket here for which we still don't really know the purpose. You know, like we have no idea what it's used for, but I did hear that it's gonna be part of the second part of the anniversary. So I guess we're just collecting it at first and then maybe they'll release like a special banner later on or maybe we can exchange them for something in the Baba shop, but I have no idea, okay? So that's the login bonus right there. And the next slide was talking about the initial login bonus, like when the anniversary first starts, this is what everybody gets for the first login. So it's gonna be 30 Dragonstones, a few of these 66 summon tickets, a uh, red dragonstone and also the mastered ultra instinct goku so i'm assuming we get like at least one copy of the goku for the first login and then the rest will probably be through missions or something like that and uh, for the tickets as well we'll probably get a few but the rest will be for missions and logins and so on and so forth okay so that's the first login after that we had a slide focusing on some of the upcoming uh, i guess bonuses or items so this of course is the sixth anniversary coin which can be exchanged in the baba shop for uh, stuff like kai's orbs um, training locations training items and also some of the older celebration units like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku from the uh, 5th anniversary, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and uh, also the Worldwide Celebration units like the Cell, the Hercule, the um, Goku, Frieza, so on and so forth, right? And I believe these three Dragon Stones is to denote the number of daily login stones we get. I don't remember exactly how many stones we got last year for the daily login, but it was probably three as well. So I think that's what this is referring to and then we have of course the sixth anniversary ticket and also this special ticket which once again we don't know what it does but apparently it'll come into play during part two of the celebration from there we have the uh, fifth anniversary banner of course this isn't the one for the ui goku or the evolution vegeta it's the ticket banner that you can use your sixth anniversary tickets on and uh, it's going to feature a bunch of really good non dokkan fest units like the Krillin, the Whis, the Vados, and also um, there will be a bunch of LRs in the unfeatured pool too. So some lucky people will also be able to get some LRs with their tickets. And after that, there was a preview of the 66 unit guaranteed LR banner with LRUI Goku as the headliner. And just like last year, we should be able to collect 
uh, this time 66 tickets as opposed to 55 tickets for the fifth anniversary uh, throughout the entire celebration, right? So I'm assuming that we'll get some in part one, get some in part two, and get some for the last ticket in part three. And once we collect all the tickets, we can use them to do a massive 66 unit multi with at least one guaranteed LR at the end. Now I'm assuming that there's also going to be a stone version of this banner for maybe 200, 250 stones for, you know, the same thing, right? 66 units and a guaranteed LR, but the ticket one is going to be completely free to play as long as you collect your tickets, um, you know, during the celebration. And then he focused a little bit more on this special rainbow ticket, but I think all he said at this point was that it's going to be something we can use in part two with no additional details. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, actually, what you guys think this ticket's gonna be used for. Like some people are going crazy saying that we can, you know, exchange it for an LR or something to that effect. And I don't think it's gonna be that good. I feel like it's gonna be similar to the wish strips during the Tetabata celebration where there will be a big pool of units to choose from that we can exchange for with the tickets, but they're not gonna be LRs or anything like that. I'm expecting like, you know, STR Topo, Viz Bergamo, stuff like that. So that was the ticket. Oh, and here is a preview of a new really hard event, apparently, that's similar to the, uh, actually no, not similar to Extreme Super Battle Road. I think what they said was that it is about as difficult as Extreme Super Battle Road. So newer players are definitely gonna be struggling with this, even some long time players, if you're not like a whale or, you don't have great teams, then this might be a bit of a challenge for those people as well. But of course, you guys know that I'm always down for a challenge. I'm always looking for new modes to challenge these super OP units they've been releasing recently, right? So I absolutely cannot wait for this. And just judging by the art, you can assume that we're probably going to be fighting the gods of destruction, right? So that is going to be one of the new events. Here's a preview for an upcoming support memory involving Oolong and Pilaf. And I'm not really sure if they said what it does, but there will be quite a few of these support memory items that are coming out um, when the anniversary starts, right? Like we already know about at least five or six at this point, like the Frieza one, the Goku tail one, the Whis one, um, Gohan and Icarus, and also one involving Zeno as well. And uh, this slide is, I believe, talking about some kind of a giveaway or merch or something like that. I mean, I know every year they have shirts with like graphics that promote the anniversary. So maybe that's what they're talking about, but I can't say for sure. And uh, oh, finally, yo, here we go. The arts for the Goku and Vegeta. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen these floating around on Twitter or Reddit or Instagram or whatever. And uh, I gotta say, man, they look pretty freaking sweet. I mean, I can't really decide who I like better because Goku is Goku. It's Master of Ultra Instinct Goku. But man, Vegeta's aura is really, really clean. So yeah, I'm a big fan of these arts. Uh, of course, tell me what you guys think about them. I've heard a few people trash them. I've heard a few people say that they look terrible or don't look as good in comparison to the Blue Fusions from last year. And I mean, the blue fusions were really clean, but that does not take away from the Goku and the Vegeta, man. Like they look amazing. They really do. And uh, I can't wait to see them animated, of course, uh, once the data download drops, or maybe if they're smart, then they'll wait until after the stream, which is happening in about two days, by the way, uh, we'll be able to see them animated and also their animations, man, like the super attack animations and the revival skill animations and the active skills too if they have those as well i don't really know like are they gonna have active skills and revival skills i don't know but i can't wait oh by the way there's a very good chance that these guys are going to be standalone versions of master of ultra instinct goku and super saiyan blue evolution vegeta as in they start off in these forms they don't transform from a different form which i am extremely extremely happy about because honestly i'm getting kind of tired of transforming units, right? Like they were really cool when they first came out, but there's just too many at this point. And I wanna be able to use my units at their full power at the very start on turn one. So if these guys are gonna be starting out in these forms, that's even better, okay? So 
Those are the arts. We're of course still waiting for the uh, animations, the details, and all that stuff. But this alone is already enough to get me to drop my entire life savings, you know? So uh, yeah, guys, that is the video. That was the uh, sixth anniversary preview or hype video. Oh, actually, I think there's one more. Oh, yes. Okay, so at the end, they played like a little commercial, which revealed a uh, part of what I believe is Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku's uh, revival skill. We just see him getting up and then it cuts out. Oh, also part of Vegeta's animation is also in there, but it's very, very brief. So once again, if you guys want to see that uh, full video without my commentary, then feel free to go check it out in my description. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, more details to come. I mean, of course, we're only two days away from the stream. And uh, I will be streaming that, by the way, with Jinro as well as Toonrami. So it should be a really good time, especially with Jin there doing live translations. We won't have to sit in the dark and just wonder like what the hell they're talking about, right? So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that as well. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.